It's such a beautiful, wonderful day today here in Largo, Florida. I'm going to show you an Airbnb property um, that we just closed on. So my clients bought this property and they're going to list it on the Airbnb market, VRVO and Google listings. Hi, I'm Luis Bedoya. I'm an agent here in the Pinellas County, Largo, Seminole area. And I want to give you all the information you need to start a short-term rental business here in Florida. So if you have questions, make sure you reach out, leave them in the comments below, like and subscribe. I won't take much more of your time. So let's go ahead and take a look at this home, a little bit about our neighborhood and area outside. I'm gonna be doing some commentary because this home was purchased uh, with all the furniture and it's almost ready to be put on the market for short-term reservation. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay. So I'm right in the middle of the road right now. There's barely any traffic. It's a Tuesday morning. Um, it's a beautiful day, by the way. It feels really good. The temperature is somewhere around 75 degrees. It's starting to feel like 74, so it's really, really nice. That is the main entrance of the neighborhood. We got a dead end street here that connects to a park. So let me do a little bit of zooming. So you can see the park back there. And then we also have the neighborhood extending down there. It goes around and it's a pretty much a dead end cul-de-sac neighborhood. Here's the property, 1242 Whisper Drive. This home has heating solar panels up there. And again, if you have any questions about financially, how this property is going to be doing once it's listed, how much it's going to cost an investor to get into a business like this, get this started and going, feel free to reach out. I'm always here to help. Oh, we got some trees here in the property. All right, here's the patio entrance, the backyard. Here's your neighbor's house. <laughs> They've got the whole thing going on. A Halloween theme and the houses of your neighbor is here here on the right all right and you got another tree right here so there's a lot of character in this house got some wood garage door entrance to the house the orange florida orange and we got this garden right here to our right as we come into the house. Okay. Got this door open. I'm just gonna give you a look of the door. We're gonna install a smart lock today. We got the security system here and here's the access to the garage. Okay. So, I will come back around and show you the garage after that. Check this out. Okay, here's your dining room and kitchen back there. You got a living room right here. So open floor plan and everything is together right here. And as I mentioned, this house is already ready to go. Colorful blue theme from the ocean, the water. Got a large table here already to go with all the tables. All right, we got the curtains here. Open one of these up. All right. Let's take a look from here. All right. And then we have the kitchen. Large kitchen here. And the kitchen bay. Let's take a quick closer look to the granite. Seems to be a level two, level three, which just makes it a little bit more interesting. We got the cabinets are solid wood, some light fixtures up here. We just make sure that we're getting good lightning. 
And, um, you know, we got a little coffee station here. It's already put for us. I'm gonna open these up to show you that this house is already equipped with most of the kitchen equipment that you're going to need, right? Which are the things that you need to have in your Airbnb. Right. Oops, gotta figure out how to open these cabinets. We got some more here. I'm seeing that there's no handles. So we go under them. Okay. Let's take a look down here as well. Here's your view from the kitchen. You get to see a little bit of the pool area outside. And here's the kitchen backsplash here. All right. All right. And we also have more space in these cabinets. So here we got some lights and belongings to the house, All right? Along with paperwork of the house. Gonna have to go through that eventually. And here's the remote for the house. This is a nice fridge. I like the, the color. It's like a, a chrome, a darker chrome with a digital display. All right, so I'm just kind of taking a little bit more time so that you can see the details on this video. These couches here, they're specifically picked in this material so it's durable and easy to clean. And they are, they're all convertible. They all convert into beds. So we got one and two beds here where you can sleep. Here's a 55 inch TV screen, or at least that much. Okay, and again, we already have the things, uh, the, the amenities, the decoration ready. Right, the carpet. Again, we have that blue color, that light blue coming back in all the time and then it combines with the, the orange of the floors, orange and, and brown. A little bit of the quality of the floor. It's a really nice floor and it's a solid wood, real, real wood floor. Very solid. Okay. Got some paintings here. And here are the living areas of the house, right? Here are the, the actual rooms where people are, will be staying. Airbnb came with the bunk beds. Already staged. So there's a theme to this room. It's the green room, right? I guess it's because you have the view to the garden. You got your screen up there and a closet. Let's go ahead and open it. See what's in there. We do have a carpet down there. All right, and I'm showing my shorts and style today here on the video. But let's move on to the next room. Okay, we got two rooms right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one on the right. The red room. <laughs> Very nice. You can see the decoration also matching the style. And let's see what this room is looking out to. Okay, so we don't have as much of a good view here. So it'll be a good idea to maybe clean this area up a little bit and make it look a little nicer, more nicer as well. But yes, we have the bunk beds included in the purchase. Everything was included in this purchase along with some reservations that were already in place. So this is pretty much a business that you're buying. All right. Okay, so the bathroom. Okay. 
I like that this unit already has the dispensers like this. It's really nice. Okay. <clears throat> Another view of the bathroom. Okay, now we have this master here with a double bed. Seems to be queen size or full size mattress. I think this is full size, but I could be wrong. I think they're queens, honestly, but I can't figure it out here. And then we have the bathroom back there and access to the pool area. This, this room also comes back to the blue of the house. The light cyan color that it's throughout the house. All right, so so far we've only looked at the interior of the house. We still have to go look at the garage. And we have to go out there in the exterior where there's a lot of also, a lot more amenities and things to look at in terms of decoration and how they set up this property to be successful on the Airbnb. Need to get this one, although made they may have taken that intentionally. All right, so this is what we got here. All right. And actually, let me make sure that the closet here, does it have a door? No, no door in this closet. So just keep that in mind. You got the mirror here. The same bronze details throughout the bathrooms. So eventually, yes, you will update the countertops to the top here. And this is some, something that I could help you schedule for remodel. And it's very inexpensive. And then the shower here again with the dispensers. All right, so let's continue going back. <coughs> There's an not exactly sure what this is for. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go to the exterior of the house right now. This is a heated pool, salt water heated pool. As you can see, it comes with the lounge chairs here already. Some glasses just to make the pool look that much more incredible. All right. We got some lights here as well. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that they change colors. We got a smoker grill here. This is really nice. Ready to go. And some more chairs here. If you just wanna sit and relax. And we do have a cover up here. We got a, a ceiling on our pool. All right. I'm trying to see how I can turn these on. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the exterior. You've already seen what this is like. Connecting on that other bedroom back there, the red room. We got our fence here, white fence and some vegetation. Very nice, very nice. Needs to be trimmed. But you can use this space, this would be a Maybe a nice sitting area if you want to have a pond here. Got this extra space. There's going to be some cleaning, some renetting to be done on this area. Is this net? No, it seems to be metal. So these will need to eventually be replaced so that they don't look like that. But again, guys, this, booked, this property was booked most of the time producing great amount of income on Airbnb. 
it seems like the uh, owner is selling it and moving some investments to a, a different country. Okay, but we do have the tree up here on the property. So it's got this nice garden back here. Okay, I just walked through a spider web. <laughs> Oh, wait a second. Look at this. So lots of vegetation here. Also a nice sitting area that could be eventually cleaned up and put together. But again, you know, got to be careful right now. There's tons of spiders back here. Um, and jokingly, we thought eventually you could set up a little tree house here in between these two. Okay, now we're back in the pool area and we have this half bathroom here with a toilet, a sink, and a mirror and some lights. So let's see if we can get the light on here. Just flicks from here. All right. So it's nice that the unit does have a bathroom out here so people are not going inside of the house while they're using the pool while the kids are wet they can just go in there use that one instead of having to go inside of the house and once again we have the two axes we have the axis here from the master bathroom this one here for the kitchen and let's finish this video by looking at the garage I knew this was going to be a little bit of a longer very video, but again, my clients closed up on this home. They've never gotten a, a door, a foot in this house yet. So it is very important to me that they have a good amount of video recording on their home before they come visit themselves. All right. So we opening the garage door. The first thing you see, it's this these mattresses that they set here. So I wanna show you what's on that other side soon, but we do have the HVAC right here. We got our water heater and we got our washer and dryer right here. So this area is gonna need some cleaning. It's gonna need some refreshing, maybe a little bit of paint, who knows? But definitely once we remove this bad guy, Voila. We're gonna have to hire somebody to come help us clean these up, get rid of all this stuff. We can just put it outside and the trash collection is gonna take care of most of this stuff. But um, I do see that we have some extra box springs here that could come in handy, unless you wanna just get rid of them and throw them away. And you also have some mattresses. So I will inquire to make sure what's going on with this stuff back here. If we can, if we should just get rid of all of this stuff. Normally, we don't want to take the house with all of this stuff, you know, when it's not totally cleaned up as it should be. But hey, it was a great deal, and we ended up taking twenty-five thousand dollars over out of the of their asking price, which at this point I believe to be a really good opportunity for a home that's already operating, producing, and working, and bringing in the bacon. So, all right. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, make sure you reach out. And oh, before I let you go, I wanna show you the air AC unit back here that we didn't get to see. So this right here is enough to power the house and more than that. I think it's a five, four ton unit it's on the inspection report as well where they show you the wattage of this and i'm trying to look here to see it's from 2007 this unit right here presser all right so i don't see the tonnage of this unit but it's a large unit which is supposed to be more than enough to keep the guests cool during the reservation. Again, Luis Bedoya, if you have any questions or any concerns about your property, if you've already gone under contract, 
and you think you're not gonna call me because you might not be, I, you know, you can't pay me or anything like that. No, please go ahead and reach out. If you have any questions, if there's any way I can help you and be of service to you, that is why I'm in this industry. That's why I do this. Help people find a really, really good investment option. Find financial freedom as well. A retirement strategy as well. So, hey, always here to serve you, Luis Vidoya, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.